We're here today and I'm showing you a machine we've been building for quite a few years. It's called a Hydro Air. It's actually a 12 volt air compressor system. What's neat, it runs off of a single 12 volt uh, battery. We're using one of the better Optima blue top batteries. Um, it's a deep, deep cycle RV marine type. It's not the real wide one, it's like the medium size, but a battery like this will carry typically one guy anywhere from, oh, let's see, three to six, seven hours, depending on how hard you're breathing. What's kind of interesting about the unit is it's uh, strictly a demand compressor system. It only produces air as you need it. Just latch this down here. Now the unit actually incorporates two separate air compressors. Here's one compressor and the other. And it's kind of cool the way it's engineered. You've got uh, two electronic pressure switches. So what happened is one pressure switch is set at, let's say, like, oh, 55 pounds. The other one set at 45 pounds. So you'll listen to it. it. You'll hear two compressors running there first. And then once it catches up with the air, you'll hear just one air compressor kicking in. So what happens when I'm out there diving by myself, um, see, there's just, the one, or just one compressor. And this one will shut off in a moment. So we're using standard low pressure demand regulator, and we're also using the compressor unit, which is strictly a demand regulator system or a demand air. So it only produces air when you actually press the button. We'll give it just a minute, and the system should shut off. But the advantage of having a strictly on on demand system is that your battery life goes on for like you know three, six, eight hours, depending on how how hard you're breathing. Um, if I'm diving by myself in shallow water, I could, I've seen guys push it as far as, you know, intermittent eight hours of use. Guys who are running them commercially are running anywhere from about, oh, three to six hours. If you put two divers breathing as hard as they can, you can pull the batteries down in about uh, two and a half to three hours, somewhere in there. Now, you can see we're using a, a small air reserve tank. And what that does for you is it, it helps collect a lot of the condensation in the air line and also it gives you a reserve air. So let's say, for example, um, you start breathing really hard and you actually are breathing more air than the compressors, can, the compressors can actually put out. Well, the reserve tank is going to allow you to pull a lot of air very quickly and the compressor will have more time to keep up with you. Another nice thing about having the tank, it allows you to accommodate two divers. Now both Joey and I were out there diving today and he was doing all the filming on the same system. We just tapped in two air, two air compressors. Like if you look here, let me find, here's the end of the hose. If you want to add a second diver, it's that, it's that simple to add it. So you can add on one or two divers. And uh, so we were doing all our filming out there with both of us. We were both down about probably 10, 15 feet most of the time, but there was a couple of holes where we were down to about, maybe about 20 feet. But it depends on the divers. You know, you get some guys, big heavy set guys who smoke. It's more of a one diver system. But you get two guys who know how to dive, you can cut and carry two people. And you have to be in good shape too, because we were out there in some pretty deep water and the current was getting strong. So you want to make sure that uh, you're very comfortable in the, in the water and you understand diving and understand all the basics because you can't get hurt. It has all the same dangers as a scuba diving system would. So it's very, very important to know what you're doing and practice. When you, get, when you first get in the water, practice taking your mask on and off, clearing it underwater, take your regulator on and off, clearing it underwater. So it's very important to have the, the basic skills in order to operate something like this. Some of the various applications are just sport diving, diving around coral reefs, um, I have a lot of guys who buy them for in use with metal detectors and they look for rings and you know artifacts. Back east looking for uh, like Civil War relics. Um, quite a few of my customers use them for inspecting pipes and grates. All kinds of different applications. Just here we're doing one that's more fun. We're sniping for gold. You know, we're fanning the cracks and crevices and going down there looking for, you know, looking for nice little gold nuggets. In fact, as soon as we're done here, we're gonna go back down there for fun for another hour or so. For more information about the Keen Hydro Air System and or purchasing, visit KeenENG.com or give them a call at 1-800-392-GOLD. And if you'd like to see more underwater sniping for gold video, visit ProspectingChannel.com and watch episode number 28 of Adventures in Prospecting in the Programs menu. Thanks for watching and gold luck out there.